Hey Cancer, what's going on with you? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy. I'm here to bring you your weekly read. This is going to be from Sunday the 23rd through Saturday the 29th. This is the last week of February, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed um, your Aquarius season. We are now in full-blown Pisces season. Not only is it Pisces season, we got Mercury retrograde in the house of Pisces. For you, that is your ninth house, okay? Um... So we're going to see, we're going to pull some cards and see how this is uh, affecting everyone. All right. Now, this may not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, and I'll be talking probably about these retrograde energies, depending on what's going on in the reading. But I just want to let you know that um, I put together a video for each sign to um, help you navigate through this retrograde energy. This is going to be a little intense, a little more intense than the last few. Because we're dealing with water. Okay, Mercury is um, in water. So it was intense back in October because it was in Scorpio. And now it is in Pisces. So it's going to be similar to that type of intense energy. Um, but this time it's all about Neptune, which is ruling um, Pisces. It, that's there as well. And Neptune is all about illusions, glamorizing things, making it more than what it is. So people will be lying to themselves. And if they're lying to themselves, then they're going to be lying to you if they're trying to reach out to reconnect to you. So you got to be careful. Long story short, check the end of the video. You'll see um, the information I left um, or the video in reference to cancer. And, and, and it talks about how to protect yourself as well. Um, I'll be doing the March Silent Enemy readings probably um, within the next couple of days. And that'll have some information in it as well. What you guys can do is get some grounding stones. Any kind of dark colored stones. Um, this is black obsidian. You can get some um, smoky quartz. You can get hematite. This is hematite. You know, you don't have to get it this big, but you can get something small and keep it on you. All right, that way to keep you grounded and keep you out of your head because you're going to be, this is going to be a lot of psychic and intuitive energy going on. And um, you are a water sign, so you're used to it, but it's just going to be more intense for you. All right. So if you don't really want to be dealing with that all the time, you don't want to be on cancer overload, <laughs> then you can get you some grounding stones. But you can also use this time to tap in to the intuitive energies that are going on. So water signs are really going to be feeling this energy. All right. So let's see what we got for you, cancer. We have the five of swords here. Okay. Five of swords energy. This is, um, this is Aquarius energy. Isn't it? Yeah, it's Aquarius energy. Some people will call it Gemini, but it's, it's definitely air sign. Okay. Now, um, five of swords. This talks about being in a situation where there's conflict, there's struggle, mental with the swords. Swords are about the intellect and about the mind. So there's a lot of mental struggle. This could be you within your head having a lot of mental struggles going on, but this is what's going to go on with these retrograde energies. So this could be you in your head. OK, this could be you um, maybe having some type of mental uh, war with someone else. OK, but we'll find out what's going on here, Cancer. So let's see. And this is more so of, you know, like petty games, you know, back and forth being petty. You did this, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to one you up, up, you know, what do they call it? One up you. I'm going to one up you. You're not going to get one over on me type of energy. So let's see what's challenging this. The Ten of Pentacles. So the challenge is, hmm, okay. So this may be a situation, Cancer, where this is either you or the person who's dealing with you. you you're playing mind games or they're playing mind games with you because they're trying to get you um, in a relationship. They're trying to get you to commit is what I'm getting here. This is how you're looking at it, or this is, yeah, this is the energy I'm getting from you. I'm getting that you're like, okay, this person thinks that they're going to get me into a relationship, but I'm not, I'm not with that. I'm not doing that. All right. So let's take a look and see what your higher self is saying and what, you know, your ancestors or spirit guides and, you know, whoever it is that you believe in and that you go to in times of gratitude and thanks and times of concern have to say about the situation. They're saying let go with the Ten of Wands energy here in reverse. It's saying take a break from this. You know, 
um, lighten up, <laughs> saying no, okay? This is rejection as well, okay? Finally saying no, all right? So the universe is telling you to take that type of action, all right? Your higher self could be telling you that as well, but you may enjoy the game here, all right? And, and prolonging the situation, but I'm wondering why you would like that. If someone wants to be in a relationship with you and you don't want to, you know, why would you prolong just telling them the truth? But let's see where your head is at right now, Cancer. We have the, yeah, see? Queen of Swords in reverse. It's not being honest. Okay, that's in your head. Okay, this could be your conscious. Okay, but this is what's going on in your head. All right, and this is not your subconscious. This is your conscious because Mercury's in retrograde. All right, so it's bringing everything that is about to try to go into the subconscious is going to kick it out. It's kicking it out. So this is your conscious telling you that you're not being truthful. You're not being honest. All right, let's see what the outcome is here. Now, again, this doesn't have to be you, Cancer. This could be the person you're dealing with. So take the energies as it resonates. It's a general read. Yeah, so we have the page of wands in reverse. So this is no no messages of, of a passionate beginning. No new messages um, in reference to... Or this could represent just messages of sex. Okay, page in reverse could represent someone contacting someone for intimacy only, not wanting anything more. Or it could just represent the outcome is, is that's all that this person wants. So yeah, for what I'm getting here is there's a situation going on here where someone wants you to be in a relationship with them or you want to be in a relationship with them and this person is playing mind games with you or you're playing with them. Um, you have no, it looks like you're not interested in um, being in a relationship with them. The universe or your higher self is telling you to leave this alone and stop playing with this person with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Overall energy here is the Four of Pentacles. Um, so this is about being selfish, okay, thinking only about yourself because Four is about, this is about greed too. Okay, it's either greed or long term um, security. So this could be you doing this to this person because you don't want them to go anywhere. Long term st security. This is also about being greedy. This person may be doing this to you because they're being greedy. They don't want you, but they don't want you with anybody else. They could also be dealing with other people. When you talk about the four of pentacles, this is about greed. Okay, it could be a financial situation as well. This person may want you for your money. We, it's not like it says the Ten of Cups here for the challenge. It says the Ten of Pentacles. So this person could be dealing with you and playing games with you, Cancer, because they want you for your money. All right? And um, <clears throat> your higher self is telling you to get out of the situation. All right? If you're the one who's doing this to someone, your higher self is telling you that you, you should chill out with that. You should leave that be. See, um... Karma is what goes on with Pisces when it's in uh, when you're in the house of Pisces and in Mercury's in retrograde right now. OK, in the house of Pisces, which is about karma. So this is giving me a feel of, of, of karma, perhaps. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. See what this person is doing here. All right. So let's clarify this five of one, uh, five of swords. Why is this five of swords here for my Cancerian massive? What is this? Who is this person? What is this person's intentions? Yeah, see, you're going to have to be careful, Cancer. You're definitely going to have to be careful. So we have the Knight of Cups, but he came out in reverse. But this is the Knight of Cups. And we have the High Priestess. Okay, this is Piscean energy, the high priestess. The Knight of Cups is mutable water. So that is, um, that's Pisces. This is all Piscean energy. Okay, so right now um, with Neptune and Pisces, Neptune's is all about illusions. It's all about making something more than what it really is. So with this Five of Swords energy, this is what this person is doing. They're playing mind games with you, making you think that <clears throat> the situation is more than what it is or trying to make it like it's more than what it is. But your intuition is telling you otherwise or you need to you need to tap into your intuition. That's for sure. 
Yeah, either you're not... This person is keeping it a secret from you. That's what this is. Okay? They're keeping secrets from you. They're playing games with you. This is terrible. We have the Knight of... Um, the Knight of Wands, but it's spelled that well, they have it as the Knave of Wands, but this is the same as the Page of Wands, okay? So we have the Page of Wands showing up twice in this reading, once in reverse as the outcome, and then uh, once here clarifying this Five of Swords energy. So this is someone wanting a new beginning or someone going to be reaching out, but they're going to be reaching out lying with the Knight of Swords in reverse, See the Knight of Swords in the upright? He has a message. He has a letter in his hand and a rose. So he's either lying or he's not speaking his whole truth. Or there's something when he's in reverse, he's out to purposely hurt someone, to take advantage of someone, to lie and manipulate. Okay? And so this is what's going on right now. So this person is, is purposely doing this. Wow, this is a, a, a shitty person. And then we have the Six of Swords energy. Okay, so for some of you, um, with the Six of Swords energy, this person is leaving the situation or you're leaving this person because you realize they're playing games. Yeah, and you realize it's all about sex with the Knight of Wands in reverse. No, I'm sorry, the King of Wands in reverse. This is the King of Wands up, up close. Okay, yeah, but he came out in reverse. So when he comes out in reverse, he's someone who's not honest. You know, he can be a coward. Um, he's also a bully. Okay, very abusive. So this person is verbally abusive. Okay, um, this is somebody who plays mind games. This is someone who's very conniving. Now, this is you, Cancer, um, doing this to someone. This is really, this is really terrible. You're going to get just due. Like, this is what the Mercury retrograde is about. You're going to get just due for this. If you're experiencing this, don't worry. This person's going to get they just, just due. Because this is terrible here. This is terrible. Now, let's look at the challenge here. The challenge is getting in a, a relationship or, um, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles energy. So maybe getting married, uh, settling down, getting in a relationship. That's the challenge. This person does not want to do that. So let's take a look and see. So we have the world card in reverse. Yeah, they're not interested in settling down. They're not trying to end that cycle. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person is very stubborn. They, they're not budging. Okay, there's no way you're going to get them to um, to do it. You know, this person um, wants something for nothing. This is someone who's lazy. Okay, um, like I said, this is somebody who um, could want money. Okay, or could get want to get money out of the situation. All right, let's see what else we got here. So what else is the challenge here with this Ten of Pentacles? We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, this person is just going to reject you. They're not interested in putting in work. They're not going to put in work. For others of you, this is a sexual thing only. And they're not putting in any work in this situation whatsoever. <clears throat> for others of you, we have the Knave of Cups, which is a Page of Cups, but it's in reverse. Okay, so this is someone who um, is going to come around... Um, this is a breakup it could represent. Let's see what else. We have the two of swords in reverse. Someone taking action. So yeah, this is someone who realized that this person was playing games and they cut it off. It looks like. Yeah. So the challenge is getting into a relationship with this person. Okay. Yeah. You, you want the situation to end, but it, it's still, this person is not going to end what they're doing. They're going to continue playing this game with you. As long as you're playing, they're going to play. Because remember, the Four of Pentacles energy here, this is all about long-term stability. So this person is going to string you as long, along as long as possible. Long-term. This is not just a wham-bam, thank you, ma'am. Because if that's what it was, they would have threw you away. They still don't want you, but they see some advantage of having you around. But it's not going to be in a relationship. They're not going to do that. All right. Yeah. Because underneath here we have the <laughs> underneath here we have the uh, ace of pentacles in reverse. They're not going to settle down. All right. And then here's the knight of swords. OK. Like there, this is not an option for them. OK. And so it's best the six of the six of swords just to walk away. OK. And, and hermit go into seclusion. Okay, but yeah, this person is definitely... And then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So you guys may not be speaking. Okay, 
So let me put these back in order in which we pulled them because we might go back to them after this because this is starting to tell another story. But I don't want to get away from this one yet. All right. So yeah, we had it like that. Okay. So now the universe, your higher self, your spirit guides is is asking you to let the situation go whether you're the person doing this to this person or whether you're the person receiving this energy the universe wants you to let this go okay so let's see for some of you we have the seven of pentacles in reverse and we have the page of or the knave the knave is the same thing as the page the page of swords so this person you're not communicating with this person with the seven of this person actually is getting yeah, they want you to let this go. There's, it's not You're not getting anywhere. This is somebody who wants something for nothing. And this is somebody who's... Um, hmm. they're, yeah, they're not going to tell you the truth. This is someone who's lying to you. They could be watching you as well. Um, this is if you let this... Once you let this go. That's for some of you who already let this go. For others of you, we have the Knave of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, not putting any work on this. This person is a troublemaker. Okay, they may try to reach out, um, but it's only to cause you trouble and harm. And then we have the Empress. Yeah, see, this is how they see you. They see you as someone fertile, full of growth, full of, you know what I mean? They just want to take advantage of you. They want your energy is what I'm getting here. Okay, because, yeah, they look at you as someone who, who's making money, someone who's royalty. Yup, that's why we got the Ten of Pentacles here instead of the Ten of Cups. They're after money. We have the Four of Cups here, as well as the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Four of Cups here. You're feeling unfulfilled because you want a relationship. This person's not going to give it to you. you got to let this go, Cancer. Now, let's take a look at where your head is at. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? This is in denial, being in denial about the situation here. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, yep, this is someone who's about sex. Okay, and then we have the Five of Swords showing up once again in this reading. This person is someone who is um, playing mind games with you. Okay, they're going to play this tit for tat with you. They definitely are. Okay, and with the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is someone who um, is very cold. They're very dishonest and they're very unkind. Okay, they just want sex and they're just playing games. This is a monster. We have the lovers in reverse. Okay, this is about making a choice. Okay, and we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah, so you got to make a choice. The longer you continue to deal with this person, the less uh, fortune fortunate you will be. This person is out to get whatever they can from you. And being with this person is bad luck. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Lies. No truth. Not clear. No, no clarity. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is, is making sure that you don't find out the truth. They're doing whatever they can. They're working on that. Yep. Now the outcome is the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, so let's clarify the Page of Wands in reverse. We have to clarify with the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is someone who's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to cut out all the bullshit. This is not what I want, and I'm not interested in playing games and being someone's plaything. All right, and we have that clarified with the Eight of Wands. But this person is going to give you a um, call. They may reach out to you in a couple of days, maybe eight days or so. They may reach out, try to see what if they can get something from you, and you're just going to cut them short. <laughs> And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. You're doing your thing, making your money independent and happy. All right? And you're chilling with the Four of Swords. You're not playing with them. You're not thinking about them. You're doing you. All right? And then we have the Five of Wands. Okay? Stress, fighting, aggravation, maybe in your head. And then the Tower Reverse, Aries Energy. So this is about taking action. So this could be, um, let's see. So this is someone who might be antsy or bored with the situation and they're going in their head about like, OK, you know what? This is a, this is aggravating to me. It's boring to me. It's uneventful. I'm, I'm going to end this situation. All right. And so that's what the tower in reverse is. OK, so that could be, um, you know, having other options as well. 
Okay, having better options. So some of you have better options. All right. And so when this person or if this person comes back to you, you're not going to deal with them. All right. So this is um, take the energies, how it resonates, switch the roles. But someone is taking advantage of someone. Someone is stringing someone along under the guise of this person wanting a relationship. OK, this person, the person A is stringing person B along. Person B wants a relationship. OK, but person A does not want a relationship. Person B sees person A or well, person A sees person B as a financial opportunity. They see them as the empress energy, someone who's rich, someone who's financially stable, somebody who's financially secure, someone who they could make money off of. OK, and so um, they mean this person harm with the with the knave of pentacles in reverse. The knave of pentacles is a troublemaker. OK, Um or the page of pentacles. This is someone who's a troublemaker, someone who um, always been a problem child, a problem person. They may be that way now, okay, as an adult. But um, yeah, their intention, I mean, you're feeling unfulfilled in this situation and you realize that there's no relationship. So some of you have left. So this person is going to probably try to get you to come back here. And this is when I was looking at these cards. So yeah, this is you protecting yourself from this person, okay? Is what I'm getting now with the four of pentacles. You realize this person is after money or the, and, and they mean you no harm. All right. So you're not going to give them anything with the uh, ace of pentacles in reverse. And you know that they don't want a relationship. All right. You know that this person is lying with the knight of, knight of swords energy. You know they're lying to you and they're trying to play mind games. All right. And so as a result, you're not going to even give them the option. You're just going to leave them be with the six of swords energy here. And you're just going to go off and do you. All right. And you're not communicating with this person. You have no interest. You're going to find somebody who resonates on your own page. OK. Um, but this could also represent that this person is antsy and wanting to uh, reach out. All right. So we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to come in. All right. And they're going to lie and say, oh, I love you. I want to be with you. But you're pretty much over that right now. With the um, devil in reverse, you let that go. You already know what that is. You want um, stability, and you know you're not going to get that with this person with the four of wands in reverse. And with the devil energy here and the four of wands in reverse, this is telling me that this is a karmic soulmate for you guys. All right? And that you're not going to move forward with them with the knight of, of pentacles at all. As a matter of fact, some of you have already walked away. If you have not, you over this situation with the death card, you let it go. All right? You're no longer putting in any work or effort with the eight of pentacles. All right? And with the um, six of pentacles in reverse, you know, um, this was an unbalanced situation. This was an unbalanced individual. All right? And then we have, um, you know... The surprise card here. So what is the surprise? We have a four of pentacles here. No, the six of pentacles. Okay, so somebody's going to come out of isolation here with the um, knight of, I'm sorry, with the nine of swords. All right. And they got clarity. They're going to claim that they have clarity and they see things now with the eight of swords. We shall see. All right. But it looks as though what's going to happen is this person is just going to be left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. And, um, <laughs> they're going to just move on. Okay. Move on and do them and, um, you know, get their happiness elsewhere. Okay. Or maybe this person is saying that they do want to move forward. It could very well say they want to move forward in a relationship. All right. Um, after this person leaves them or with the chariot in reverse, this is a vehicle, someone relocating and getting married. So someone could just be, um, they left the situation. They could be relocating and getting married to someone else, all right, um, somebody that they were seeing with the three of cups, somebody else they were seeing, all right, and they were just taking their time about deciding what they wanted to do, and so, you know, this is going to be beneficial to you, okay, that this person has made this decision, or that you've made this decision uh, to leave this person alone with this three, okay, wait a minute, this is celebrations, hold on, so ten of cups and then three of cups is celebrations, so that's a major transformation. All right. So with the two of swords is a decision. So this person may come to you actually and may want to um, propose to you. OK. And may want to celebrate with you. But you're going to take your time and you're going to make your decision. And you are going to do what is best for you with the destiny card, the wheel of fortune card. 
Now, the Knight of Swords, um, you're going to be truthful with this person. And with the Hierophant in reverse, you're going to let them know that after all of this that's going on, you just don't even feel this way about this person anymore. You don't want to be married to them anymore. This person is going to be very resentful and envious and frustrated. All right. And um, with the Nine of uh, Wands in reverse here, um, this is somebody who is going to um, be... Um, I wonder if they're going to be relieved or if they're going to be tormented by this. And then we have someone trying to maintain their composure with the strength. And then we have the Anant card. Okay, so somebody is changing their ways. And now all of a sudden they're in love with the Ace of Cups. But and now they want to work on it with the Three of Pentacle, like, what is this? This is someone playing games here. And then we have the lover's card, the Gemini energy. But you're going to get downloads about this, you know, and you realize what's going on. So what's going to happen is you're going to end this situation with this person. Totally end it. Yeah, because it's unrealistic, you, you know, unrealistic expectations. You know, you were very naive in this situation here. And we have the eight of cups in reverse here. So, you know, this is you learning your lesson from the situation, realizing that there's no growth with the um, Empress energy in reverse here. And so with the Eight of Wands, this person's going to try to reach out to you, okay? Um, but you're going to be gone doing your thing. So this is how the story's going, okay? Now we have the Queen of Cups, because you're looking for something that's loving, all right? And this person has hidden agendas, okay, with the Moon card. And the fact is that they're lying, they're a liar with the eight, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, and they're going to come back and apologize, but they're lying for breaking your heart, okay? But then we got the Six of, what is this, the Six of Cups? No, this is the Five of Cups, okay? So this is, um, you know, them feeling lo loss and regret because they made the wrong decision, and then they're going to drink themselves to death while you're over here chilling, making your money, being an empress, Doing your thing, being a star, all right. And this person is going to be tormented by it because they made that they they made the wrong damn decision and they realized it, all right. And so this person is going to pay for this. They're going to pay for it. Don't worry, Cancer. Let's get you some advice before <laughs> I went in on this one. Yeah, let's get you some advice because this person's a piece of shit. And they deserve it. They're going to get their karma. I told you they were going to get it before I even pulled these cards. Didn't I tell you? They were going to get their karma. In between worlds. So you're in transition. You probably just left this person. This is probably still raw for you. Or what's going on right now is because of Mercury retrograde. You're like thinking back about this and you're moving on from this person. And it's very difficult for you. For some of you, you could have been with this person for a very long time. Or you were really attached to this person and really loved this person. And so you're just in between, you know, one foot in, one foot out, right? And we also have the number three, which is the Empress energy. And like I said, that did show up here. So there you are, Cancer, being beautiful, all right? So you're in between worlds right now. The universe is saying, go ahead and continue. Let this go. This situation is not beneficial for you. Let it go with the Ten of Wands in reverse. All right, let's get you some more advice. Where's my... Oh, here they are. All right, let's get you some advice. What do we have for my cancers dealing with this? Ooh, I'm, I'm about to say some words that only sailors need to hear. <laughs> Curse like they say back in the day, cursing like a sailor. Ooh, this piece of crap here. This is someone who's just crazy and miserable. They're going to end up being alone anyway. <laughs> and drink themselves to, to oblivion. That's what's going to keep them warm. A leap of faith. So, yeah, it's safe to make the move you're considering. So, go ahead and keep moving. Keep moving. You ready to leave this situation any day. For those of you who have not left, you want to leave anyway. You already know. All right. Some of you are still in denial, though, about the situation, but you're going to eventually get to this point because your intuition is going to tell you you're going to be hearing it all through between now and March. It may have started in February, might have started before then, but all February and March, your intuition is going to be telling you. Now, it's unfortunate. Like I said, you guys are um, karmics. OK, like I said earlier. So the chemistry is intense with this person. You guys are mutually attracted to each other, which is why this person was able to play these games with you um, as long as they have. 
let's see what else we got. So if someone comes back in, don't jump into it because this person may call you back before the Mercury retrograde is up. We know that's not up until the first week of April. So I've been letting everybody know it's up to you. You have free will. But if anybody from the past comes back to you, I would not consummate the relationship intimately in any way, shape or form until you think about how you feel after these energies pass. Now, for some people, they can't wait um, six or um, seven weeks. But, you know, this is up to you. If you don't want to be played with and have a broken heart and be treated like trash, then you can wait a few weeks. You know, if you can't control yourself because of the chemistry, I understand Then maybe you talk to this person on the phone or maybe you meet out with them, decide to only meet out with them in public. OK, go to public places with them. Don't go anywhere by yourself. It's like so don't go out then with them at night unless you know that, OK, I'm going home afterwards. Goodbye. You know, don't go out with them after certain hours, okay? You got to put a plan in place so that you can, you know, make sure that you take your time and go slow. And then after the retrograde energies, see how you feel about this person. They may not even be showing you that much interest anymore because you made them wait so long, okay? And they'll dip off because this is a piece of crap individual here. They may try to, you know, work you because they, you know, like I said, long term with the four of wands, but make them wait. Make them go through hell. Put them through hell. You know, they want to put you through hell. Put them through hell. Show him, show them the way to hell. Okay? Show them the way. <laughs> That's all I say. You take the reins. No, I would say leave it alone like the universe said. You don't want to tap into this. This is somebody you don't even want to play with. You just want to leave this person alone because they're not right in the first place. So, Cancer, I hope this resonated with you. I hope you cut this zero and get you a hero, okay, or a heroine, <laughs> whatever works. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.